Hello and welcome to The Little Blue Pot, it's Gem here, thank you for joining me YouTube, I hope you are well. I'm going to be talking about anti-anxiety medications today, I'm going to be going through the four main types, telling you what they are, giving you the different brand names and sort of explaining the pros and cons of each one. So there are four main types of anti-anxiety medications, there are benzodiazepines, buspirone, pregabalin and Metprobamate. Metpro, metprobamate. I think that's how you say it. If not, please correct me. So the the first group, so if you sorry, let's start from the beginning, shall we? If you have just been diagnosed with depression or anxiety, it is likely the first line of treatment that you will go on will be an antidepressant or SSRI. However, if um, depending on the severity of your illness, depending on your, your diagnosis, you may be given an anti-anxiety medication straight away, or it might be that you try the antidepressant and then later on, second or third line of treatment, go on to an anti-anxiety. It all depends on your diagnosis, your, you as an individual, and where you are um, with your diagnosis and where you are on your journey. So, like I say, those are the four main areas, and I will talk about them now. So, like I say, anti-anxiety meds are usually given as a second or third line of treatment. So, the first group is the benzodiazepines. These are the most common anti-anxiety meds, um, and they help relieve anxiety by reducing abnormal electrical activity in the brain. So, they really chill you out. They mellow you out. So, common... Um, brand names and drug names for benzodiazepines. We have Xanax or Neurovam, uh, Clonopin, which is also called clon Clonazepam. Then we have Ativan, which is also called Lorazepam. And then we have the main one that probably everyone recognizes, um, which is Valium, also called Diazepam. Now, these are really good meds if you are battling with maybe severe panic, anxiety, panic attacks, you know, really shaky, can't sleep, butterflies in your tummy, and they work very, very quickly. There, there are some downsides to having these meds. They can, they do have addictive properties, um, because and the of sorry, they do have addictive properties. And the more you take, um, the the more you end up having to need take. So your tolerance for them um, will uh, really go up. So you then have to take more in order to have the same effects. This is also because of um, their addictive properties as well. So it's unlikely if you have addiction, if you've had addiction problems, that you'll be put on one of these because of their addictive properties. You'll probably be put something on something else. So the next group is the buspirone or buspar or vanspar. Um, so these are used to treat certain anxiety disorders, but unlike the benzodiazepines, buspar takes a few weeks to build up in your system so you won't necessarily notice the effects for maybe two to three weeks unlike the benzodiazepines which pretty much work straight away so that's a, that they don't they also don't have the same effects so um they they do work obviously for an anti-anxiety but they don't have the kind of same effects as the benzodiazepines so it might be that you're more suitable for those number three is pregabalin now this is the one the first one that i heard of when i was in my therapy groups it was a very common one that some of my uh, uh fellow bpd sufferers were on and this is also known as Alzane, Lessient, Lyrica, and Rowissa. Um, apologies if I pronounced any of those wrong. It's an anti it's actually an anti-epileptic jug. Jug? Anti-convulsant anti-epileptic drug. <laughs> um, also used for anxiety. It's, it's almost like a sort of beta blocker, slows the heart rate down, and it ha does have weight gaining properties because of that. So um, unfortunately, a lot of meds in mental illness have weight gaining properties, which isn't great when you're trying to manage your illness. And if maybe if you have, you know, problems with your body image, body dysmorphia, an eating disorder, obviously all of that's made harder if you're putting on weight as well as trying to get better. So that's kind of the, the downside of that, but I have heard wonderful things from this drug that it really, really works, takes away that that butterfly feeling, the shaky feeling, and can really work. Again, um, it's 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 finding the one that works for you, finding speaking to your psychiatrist, and you know working together to try and make sure that you're on the right meds for you. 
Um, and then, and then there's the last, the, the last one, the last one, Metro Bamate, and this is another one, I uh, don't have as much information on that, um, and also used as an anxiety. Um, information today is taken from Everyday Health, the link is in the description, and if you want to read more about all of these types of drugs, then click on that link and you'll find out a lot more. So to summary, to summary, to, I am really not doing well today, to summarise, make sure you speak to your psychiatrist, make sure you are on the right meds for you. If you feel that they aren't working or if you feel they're not the right ones for you, have that conversation with your psychiatrist. It's 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 sometimes a bit of trial and error to find the right combination of drugs for you as an individual to, to, to work with your illness and your diagnosis. But once you get that good combination, you can stay on that for quite some time and you don't really have to make changes. So if you're feeling at the moment that actually you're not feeling that the anti-anxiety is working or actually you feel like perhaps your benzodiazepines are working really well um it's about finding the right treatment for you and you and your psychiatrist can work together to work that out or your gp if you are in your early sort of stages of diagnosis and treatment i hope that's been interesting hope that's been useful if you if you have any comments please put them in the space below tell me what anti-anxiety meds you've been on have you tried any of these have you had good experiences bad experiences have you battled with any of the sort of addictive properties of the benzodiazepines whatever you want to share with me please put it in the space below always good to hear from you guys um thanks for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next time take care guys bye now